filthy, isn't it? And it's getting a bit baggy now as well. Bloody expensive though, so we'll uh, use it till it falls apart. I should get it laundered. Maybe that's what I could do over the winter. Get to get it off and get it laundered. It's got all those fancy batten car things. Not easy to take off. Very easy to drop and to raise, but not easy to remove. But I, I got the I got the head sail laundered last year, so I should really do the main sail this year. Although I got it laundered, and of course the day that I put it back on, the next day there was a, a storm of rain and, and filth and it was dirty again, which is a shame, but I did get a bit of stitching done on it as well. I got a bit of a problem with that at the moment, this is continuous line, continuous line, now can we see it, we can, ah it's all the way up there. Um, it's continuous line and there's a join obviously to make this a loop you've got to join it end to end the way you join it end to end it's not quite perfectly the same diameter and everything and the problem is it doesn't like to go through the, the join doesn't like to go through the, the furler you can see the furler up there the front so if I furl it the correct way with the UV strip on the outside it doesn't quite fully furl up by the time the join gets up there and then it gets jammed and I don't want to force, I don't want to put too much pressure on it. So I have to leave a, a rag end of Genoa sticking out which doesn't look pretty and is not good. So I'll be filling up the other way with the UV on the inside which defeats the purpose of having UV but at least it fills properly. Yeah, I can fix it. I just need to take the sail off or take the sheets off and then wind it round a few times and then uh, and then put the sheets back on. But I won't do that now. I'll do that when we get back to Valencia. Right. That is your morning update on the morning of day three. Oh, there's a boat over there. Ooh, another one. There. Oh no, they're not boats. They're, uh, Marker boys of some kind. Yeah, da, 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 da. My eyesight's shot. I had great eyesight when I was younger. I used to spot submarine masts five, ten miles away. Attack ends, they called me, well, once. <laughs> but uh, now I, I, can, I can barely read the, the displays. I have to use glasses now for, for reading and glasses for distance seeing and my right eye's got one of those astigma things and I see like a bit of double when I'm shooting looking through my uh, telescopic sight I have, two I have two versions I have to decide which one is the real one to go for to aim for I think you can get an operation get it removed I ought to go to an optician really Don't like opticians, don't like doctors, don't like dentists. What do you like, Dave? Don't know. Turn the camera off, Dave, you're embarrassing yourself now. Alright. That's a nice mountain over there. case of big fish eating little fish. Oh, we're just having a jolly fun time. Skipping and dancing. Me in the, uh, in the cockpit, as it were underneath the spray hood 
I uh, can keep a scan, do some nav, chit chat on the radio, send my position on the Garmin, do something on the phone. See that my chart table down there, and I have to lean back, but I can also see the nav instrument. And the main thing is, it's about 150 degrees centigrade out there. And in here, I'm in the shade. Whew. It's a hot one. Barcelona there. And yeah, it's on the starboard side because I've turned around. I just got a, not just, I got the updated weather when I got close enough. And the winds are such that it would be a real struggle to get across the Gulf of Lyon and around Corsica. It would take days and days and days and days because it's because there's so much um, so much calm air. I would be relying only on the uh, sea breezes when they picked in most of the time. Um, there's no way south easily to get into the the uh, easterly flow that's running through the south of the Mediterranean. Again, a big black hole with no wind between here and Mallorca. And uh, I don't want to just plow through diesel just to get there. Um, so we will do the same as we've just done, except more upwind than downwind so the momentum's away the Genoa is out and we're eh, not close at all we're on a close reach and we'll make the best of whatever wind we get I'll stay closer to shore I think on the way back just to make, get absolute advantage of those winds and uh, it's, what is it? It's uh, almost six o'clock on Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, two and a half days to get here. And I would imagine it's gonna take at least that to get back. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday. Um, the Godfather. I guess I'll get back on Wednesday or Thursday. I'll, I'll look at the winds and um, Tuesday might be tricky. Well, tomorrow's gonna be tricky as well. Um, and if I, if I am really slow, the good news is that uh, on Thursday there'll be loads of wind to get me home. So, uh, yeah, there we go. But it's, you know, five, six days sailing. And then I'll, uh, do a bit of work, a bit of maintenance on the boat. I got so much to do, uh, but keeping an eye on the on the winds. And when the winds are nice, I'll go to the Balearics and back. If the winds are no good, I won't. Might even uh, have a night in a hotel with some air conditioning just to cool myself down a bit because it's hot, man. That was one of my main considerations. Um, I'm drinking three liters four liters a day and uh, although I've got a ton because I filled the main tank and uh, filled my 25 liter emergency bottle and I've still got another 4, 8, 12, 13, 15, 17, <coughs> 17 so that would be 17 plus 25 plus about 50 in the in the main tank so I have got enough water if I take into account the main tank but that main tank tastes a bit cruddy so uh, I didn't want to do it and I'm on my holidays so I'm not doing it that's Barcelona Airport over there we fly into there when I say we I mean Swiss right how fast we can get home.